Hello, okay, today I'm going to be showing you my Rainbow Falls. Obviously, the what's in front of you. So, first or my first order of business will be to turn it on. Here's the EV3. This is the uh, what powers the contraption. Um, so it says Rainbow Falls on the screen and the red light is flashing. To turn it on, we'll simply hit the center button and the light will turn green. Um, here's the falls itself. And so, um, let's get started. So, sorry, the light's kind of blowing out the EV3. It uses um, three motors the NXT and two EV3. Um, if you're here from the uh, gallery at lego.com, this is the this is what the motor looks like because I had to add this NXT motor. I'm not sure what happened, but anyway, I lost the ability to pump the water out, and now it can spew it out again. So let's see if I can get the EV3 in there. Let's see. Okay, that helps. So I'm gonna hit the center button. The light will turn green. After one second, the motors will turn on. So, um, light turns green, motors turn on, and well, wow, water is literally coming out of there. I can stop it, and I can have it go again. And the uh, motors are the thing that's spinning it. You can see the motors are spinning at a pretty uh, fast rate and then there's a gearage to be able to get the fan to spin fast enough so uh, let's get a 360 and wait one second sorry I just moved the uh, thing so I, I just had to move the towel you know I'll do it while it's on it'll look better Motors are spinning. And you're probably now thinking, like, okay, uh, this is gonna suck the batteries. Surprisingly, it doesn't. I'm using rechargeable batteries, look like this, um, and uh, so a, I believe a normal AA battery is at 1.5 volt, and these are only 1.2 volts. So if I put in a standard AA, um, we would actually get a uh, lot more water out coming out. But uh, I'm just using. Uh, rechargeables because the EV3 is is a kind of a battery sucker like all mine storms are but um, I have tried I uh, tried to run it and uh, so I was running it and after 30 minutes I hadn't been touching anything the EV3 actually shut off itself because of a timer mechanism and uh, I never uh, turned the mechanism off the uh, timer off and and uh, to uh, see the full value but that was 30 minutes of continuous use and there was no get let up and I was using um, those same batteries um, right up until this video and that was like three days ago and so um, I, of course I, ch I changed the battery because it was starting to they were starting to die and I wanted it look good for the video of course so um, that's that so I'm gonna pause the video and then uh, we're going to see how fast it can pump. Okay, hello everyone. I'm back. And uh, right now we're going to see how fast it can pump. So, um, oh shoot, sorry. Um, that probably hurt your face. <laughs> so, uh, what I've done is I've taken off the pump piece. There's the end tag of where it goes in, and there's the three holes that it comes out of. Um, 
This one is a stem half piece um, to keep it from sucking all the water and not allowing anything to come out of these two holes. And so it gives gives it a very even look. Now what I've done to the contraption is I've made this little pipe that runs and clears the the uh, Legos the Lego uh, bin and um, so we can pump it into this. Um, I'm gonna pump. We're gonna see how fast it can pump a cup that way down there. I'm using this big jar because after this video I'm gonna replace the water, and so maybe I'll even video that because um, replacing the water is um, is uh, um, just a simple thing. You know, I won't video that because that's kind of boring. Um, but you, I pump it will because I'm also doing a small amount because there's only so much water in the bin and so it will kind of run out of water and uh, and it won't be as easy so it'll slow down as it goes so um, first we're gonna need a timer so um, I'll be right back okay I meant to grab my timer before we um, we we did this video, but um, I forgot. Just so here's what we're gonna do. Um, please note this isn't the best way to calculate how fast the water comes out because it now has to travel down that really long tube, and the pipe is pretty tall, and it goes way down. It goes down to the bottom of this contraption, too. So um, it's a very tall pipe. So if we were low on the pipe and that and didn't have to go through that. Um, it would be a better time, although if doing this pipe, it would be a better time if, the, if we didn't have to have a travel pipe for it to travel along. So now I'm going to give you a full view of the thing. Please note this will go quick. So um, I'm going to time it using my iPod because that's what I have to time it. So hit the button and I'm going to start it when it hits this yellow brick so here we go okay I've started the timer I'm gonna bring you up a little you see water is absolutely spewing out of the end of there and we're almost all the way to a cup and we're at a cup oh man I've had a little better time than that so um my best time ever was uh, 14.29. Uh, we got 14.76. So, um, yeah, that's it's an okay time. Um, I mean, that's really fast. And uh, it's got a very a, a tad like that. I mean, that's a couple milliseconds. And it could also have been, you know, just me hitting the button in time or something. Oh, yeah, because it does appear that we've gone over. We've gone a little over the uh, thing that could have been because of pumping afterward, but so um, that's pumping. So um, I guess that's all I have to show you um, today. Um, I am planning to make a video that I'll probably post like immediately, like after I finish this video, I'll set up for it. Um, that will show you the insides of this. So. Um, uh, so, uh, make, it's a good thing you watched this video first. Thanks for watching.